it's, it's a little bit hot and humid in here. It is, it is very it's Just slightly. What's up, plant nerds? <laughs> What's up, plant nerds? It's Rachel with Heart Shaped Leaves. And um, we've got plant mail. And um, this is a really super duper exciting plant, but you'll have to forgive me if my excitement level isn't like through the roof because I was at the vet this morning with Winston and Penelope because they're a married couple and we are going to be expecting common law marriage. <laughs> And we are going to be expecting some little French tin nuggets uh, just shortly. So my morning. For those of you has... don't know what a French tin is, that's a cross between a Frenchie, that's Winston, true. and that's a true. Boston Terrier, which is Penelope. They're that's called true. French tins. Right, and this is going to be our first French tin litter. So we're really, we're really excited about it. And it was AI, so it, you know, me and the doctor were we we worked Not together. Artificial intelligence, artificial. And don't Google it. Don't look it up. Think about Just... dogs. Think about breeding. <laughs> so my morning has already been filled to the absolute brim with excitement. And then on top of everything else, my unicorn plant of all unicorn plants, my philodendron that has eluded me for how long? About two months. Two months. I've been searching and searching and searching and searching. And it, not just it's there and we're losing auctions. I'm talking It gone. was there. We lost it one time. Map. Bermuda Triangle. And it has not showed back up until about three days ago. Right. So I so. was uh, on Instagram and I was looking at, I can't even remember. Um, I was on Instagram and I was like scrolling through my stories and everything. And I happened upon, um, it's thoughtful underscore melon. And he has a lot of like exotic philodendrons and stuff like that. And all I saw was the stem, the fuzzy stem of this plant. There's your first hint, fuzzy and I stem. I sent him a message and I was like, was that a blankety blank? And he was like, why, yes, it is a blankety blank. And I was AKA like, AKA fuzzy britches plant. <laughs> and I was like, where did you get this plant? And they were like, and he was like, the PA Orchid Exchange, which I've heard a lot about the PA Orchid Exchange. and. Our experience ordering from them has been top notch. Top notch. I put in my not it's only a notch <laughs> on top of it. Not only <laughs> did okay, so I contacted PA Orchid Exchange and I said, Hey, um, you know, this guy on Instagram said that you guys have some fuzzy britches plants and I really want one. And she was like, well, they're not in the shop yet, but they will be soon. And I thought, well, you know, that could mean anything. Yeah. You know, that could Good mean like four that. or five months By the time you now. get the email, it's all gone. Right, right. Because I feel like I have this conspiracy theory. I think that I get my emails after everybody else gets their emails because... She thinks Gmail runs slow in Arkansas. <laughs> Because you know, when, they, when they, Steve's they leaves, us. listen to me, when <laughs> Steve's leaves pushes out those restock emails, I almost have no chance of getting those things. And when I do finally nail one, I am so freaking excited that it warrants phone calls and everything else. You know, it's hard. I do think hard. We are getting them slower. No freaking chance means that she doesn't get every single one she wants. It's not an empirical measurement. That's what I said. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this one was really awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and get to opening it. Oh, by, right. oh, wait, one more thing about the shipping. When I first ordered it, she held the shipping off. She sent this message, and I'll show it here on the side of the screen, where she was worried about the heat wave that was happening in her area and she wanted to hold off for a couple of days until the temperatures dropped which that's the first time that that's ever happened for us ordering rare philodendrons and i super duper duper appreciate that i think that that's wonderful more people should do that more more people who are mailing plants should be looking i'm looking at the weather but you know i'm not really expecting the seller to look at the weather so I was already ordering during a, a lower temperature time in my area, but she waited until even her area was low temperature. So, quit looking. I just did the peak. Golly. Okay, so let's let's get to it. Let's 
this is the best way to do it, babe. Because I don't, you know what I mean? I'm not, well, I'm not about to pull on something. No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. No. I gotta go get There'll some. be another one if I, I tear it up. <laughs> okay, I don't want uh oh oh no. You don't want what? Now that it's about to come out of the box, I'm getting really nervous. Okay, now. let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. Lay it down. No no no. Oh. Open up the outside edge. That is really good. You're doing good. You're doing good, sweetie. That's why I get to stick around. <laughs> now, wait a minute. <gasps> that was probably too much Ooh. knife for the job, but. Okay, okay. Is this better? Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shut up. Oh my God, you make me have a heart attack when you do that stuff. I do it every time. You'd think at this point she would be prepared. Now's about the time Casey gooses me I'm and hollers. I'm prepared all up like, until the moment that I'm not, and that's when you get me. It's like you can feel it. That's called good timing. <laughs> hey, it is. This little pirouette entrance of the plant. <laughs> it's like George. It's like Kramer walking Ooh, into the ball. Look. Oh, look! Layers. Ooh! Isn't that fancy? That is fancy. I like that. All right, cool. All right. We got. I'm gonna cut some of this. I cut some of this. Paper towels. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh babe. Oh, oh, whoa, look at it. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop pulling, stop pulling, stop pulling. Tape. It's stop. Tape. I'm pulling? not pulling. Oh, oh, I'm, hold, oh, I'm just oh. holding it. Sorry, I'm, I was feeling the leverage of the box. I thought you were pulling. God, I'm sorry. So worked oh, up. Whoa! This is a philodendron fuzzy britches fibrosum. <gasps> he knew. Oh, you remembered. Yeah. That's so you didn't, she wouldn't let me forget this one. So yeah, I can get this and save a little money and it never works out. So I now I just cannot. overbid on everything just to ensure that we get it. I think that's a good policy. I think that's a good policy moving forward. I don't think that's a good policy for everyone that's bidding against me. I think that y'all should keep, definitely keep under bidding for sure. Because I'm gonna make sure I'm yelling. <laughs> yeah, this thing looks weird. It's got uh, all thing, the fuzziness. Can I touch the fuzzy? Yeah. <laughs> that long pause means no. No, 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 no. I, I, let me touch it first. <laughs> boop, boop. See? Two times. Don't, though. For real, don't do it. Because what if I hurt it? You know I can't do that. Oh, it looks... <laughs> <laughs> now you know I can't. That's a Sheldon quote. <laughs> All right, touch it. It's really cool. Are you feeling. sure? Yeah, it feels like Velcro. My hands are dirty. Well... <gasps> it's got... <gasps> Stop everything you're doing. Oh. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> What do you think? I think? I think it's pretty cool. Babe, I think that's, I don't know, I say this every single time, but I think this is for sure the coolest philodendron that I have right now, in my opinion. The, because it combines fuzzy. both of the worlds that I love the most. It takes begonias and it takes philodendrons. It's not a, it's not a cross or anything like that, but it takes the characteristics in my mind. The fuzziness, the fuzziness of, a of the begonias and the, the, the amazing crawling pattern of the philodendron and, and it crosses them together this is just roots. so much better than i expected like i expect was a lot of times when i expect plants in the mail like i just you know even though i saw her hand next to the plant it still looked so much more petite you know what i mean and yeah, for it's it to bigger come, than i thought it was going to be and it'd be this big this is really awesome. Thank you so much, PA Orchid Exchange. I can't wait to put a little uh, sexy time music with that plant right there because <laughs> the uh, fuzzy stems are definitely gonna be, 
top notch. Okay, this is kind of cool. She's got like a layer of... Looks like I'm unpackaging some food. Packing peanuts that are kind of keeping the soil all in place. I really, I'm taking notes because I've got some giveaways in, in the, I'm cooking up. I've got one on Instagram. You can see if I have any struggles, if we have any problems with pests or anything like that, you know. We what? never have problems with pests. <gasps> what more than like once a day <laughs> oh my gosh yes when you have as many plants as i do you're gonna have problems Flavor? oh that's okay so you can just leave that one that's perfect so perfect. I'll, you know hold it up while i lean it over oh no 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 no. it's in dirt that's good enough everybody knows what dirt looks like is that like a you think that's an aerial root coming or you think that's a growth point i think that's a aerial root like a, a green one pushing out or something yep. because look that's not green those are those aerial roots so maybe yeah. it's like it a looks really good it's a little more mature than i thought it was so i have it's had... in dirt, so we can just kind of leave it and let it chill for a few days rather than have to do anything with it yeah someone commented on my last video and was like do you normally pot your plants up right away when you get them and I was like, no. I was like, why? Oh. And that's, the <laughs> that's first thing I said was, are we going to pot it up? And yeah. she's so, I get so flustered like, and worked up that she's like, sure. And normally she doesn't do that. No. But I, he could have said, you know, let's go do Unless this. it comes in just like, it's the roots with dirt in it. Sometimes we'll just go ahead and do it that way. But I actually like to see some sort of growth before I pot it most of the time. So, I mean, no, I don't normally do that, but that plant is doing great. <laughs> Just FYI, that immediate potting that I did didn't seem to shock it at all. So, like my lips are vibrating right now and I've had, I'm drinking coffee and it's like a lot right now. Yeah. I don't know, I'm not the creative one. But you really want to be though, because you've got a I, lot of creative ideas, don't you baby? I have a lot of ideas. I don't know that they're creative. <laughs> You do have a lot of ideas. So just a little plant chat on the side. Um, Kaylee Ellen released a Dish the Dirt video and was talking about the philodendron pink Congo scam. And I thought that was really interesting. I really liked that video. Um, thank goodness that I wasn't really attracted to the philodendron pink princess or the philodendron pink Congo because I just I just wasn't attracted to those plants, so I, I wasn't affected by that scam at all. What but was that's the scam? the scam was that people were putting a chemical in the soil that was making the plants push pink growth, like unnatural pink growth, like baby pink leaves, you know. So mm -hmm. like the and Florida then when it ghost, wears out. Yeah. So you know how I like the Florida ghost or whatever, and the leaves come out white. <laughs> no, I don't know what a Florida ghost is. <laughs> I've told you about it before. <laughs> All right, so on the Florida ghost, Florida it comes, ghost. it's a philodendron, right? Uh -huh. And on the Florida ghost, it comes out and the leaf, when it unfurls, it's totally white. Okay. Like a, like a just beautiful white leaf. And over that. time, it transitions slowly to green. Okay. Makes it really cool. Uh, so plant. they're putting a chemical in the dirt that makes it look pink when it's really not a pink plant, or just makes it look more pink and more vibrant than they're it really is. They're trying would. to convince you that the fresh growth on every new leaf is going to be pink and then it'll slowly fade to green but really they're just chemically inducing the pink color so when that chemical wears off of the plant after you get it it becomes what it becomes a, a caca's looking just, just I mean, regular well, you know, it's a regular green plant you know, so it's not no, what pink, you pay no for. pink at all in it no there's no pink at all so in it's it. not really a pink princess or is that whole species no, not pink a pink princess is something totally pink princess is a true variegated okay. version that has like a speckled pink. See, I know all this, but and it does your have viewers may not know all this, so that's why I'm asking oh, questions. Oh, now, now, I think, you know, they all know what <laughs> a pink princess and a pink philodendron or a pink Congo are, but, you know. Are we having a real conversation Calm down, here? audience. He, no he offense. It was, was just No joking. offense intended. One that, I'm sure that there's some people watching. Surely. Surely. I didn't know, so. Surely they're... That's true. I'm being very condescending right now, aren't I? I need to come down off my little high horse Whoa. and realize that some people don't know what pink princesses are, right? Well, I just took that one one step too far. I had everything right at the right level and I got greedy. Okay, I'm going to try this a third time. I'm going to try to introduce these Instagram things a third time. Okay. You ready? I've been ready. All right. Here's, Wait, the, you. here's the Instagram jam. Are you ready? Wait, ready. All right. So, um... Wait. Now we're ready. Lots of people are chatting about the Kaylee Ellen video. 
Lots of people are. Um, That's all I could talk about. To everyone, <laughs> all of my friends last night. Well, when you blare it while he's trying to do work, you know everybody knows about the scam. Uh, Jennifer's plants, and I'll leave her. I'll leave her handle down here. Uh, she sent me a couple of really funny plant memes, and I really enjoy that. So if you guys see any really funny plant memes, send them to me. My days. My days are filled with a lot of stress sometimes, and I love to stop and look at plant memes. Casey has a hard time with memes. We're not going to go super into that, but um, he just doesn't appreciate a good plant meme like I do. Not so. true. Not true. <laughs> Why is it not fake. true? That's fake. Why is it not true? Because I appreciate a good meme. I do like you memes. Really? I like to laugh. I like memes. Because you don't I go into it looking like you're enjoying yourself. You go into it looking like someone's taking you shopping. <laughs> that, that's the look I get when I'm like, you want to see this plant meme? Not interested. Be honest. Yes, I'm interested. I like memes. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Anyways, send me some memes so that we can share more memes together. So that I, I can see them because I Ooh, enjoy and I'd them love too. To, I'd love to... <laughs> I'd love to feature some plant meme accounts. I think that's really cool too because those accounts that are like solely dedicated to just creating a humorous plant content is good for me. I love plant humor, any humor of any kind. Pro tip to all you guys out there for your gals. Oh, so true. So true. Nice plant. Get just keep you a list what plants they like, what plants they want that so they don't have. We, price them, uh, sort it by price, you know, that way you know if I just want to get, if I can only afford a $10, $15 one, but she's still on her list, you know, still on her list, oh, I can get a little more expensive one, got a little bonus, got a little extra overtime. Uh, wow. Negotiation time, right there. <laughs> hey, Relationship I, negotiation <laughs> 101. Get her something she really likes of value. You don't need it. Request extra. something you really like of value. You don't really. Just time out. Time out on all that that t t tells people. what. Uh, that's excellent. That is excellent advice for a guy out there that has a chick in his last life that in his life. <laughs> that just, ew. That is excellent advice for a man that has a woman that loves plants in his life. And I think that would be a great yep. video idea that we could do yep. like around the holiday time. Yep. Right, Why don't you comment, uh, put your comment in the section below and Tell us what your favorite plan is, or maybe list your top three, you know, and then the, your significant other can go back and take a look, and it's already right there, and then they can kind of sneak up on you with a special plant surprise. Or if they, for some reason, happen to be watching this video, then you can just start tagging them on Instagram on, exactly. on uh, plants that you really, really yep. want. And, so, hey, babe, you know, check out my comment. Hint, hint, know. wink, wink. You never know. It doesn't hurt to try. It never hurts. It doesn't hurt to try. You gotta throw it out there. You gotta throw a bunch of crap up <laughs> on the wall and some of it'll stick. That is that's so what they true. say around here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's also how you know when spaghetti's done. Pro tip. Yeah, she cooking. throws it. That's why she's that's why you sling spaghetti up on the wall. It didn't make any sense at all because I was talking about throwing crap on the wall and some of it'll stick. Crap on the wall? Yeah. That's, oh. a, that's a phrase. And you said that's how you know spaghetti's done. And, it, and I'm like, <laughs> you don't I throw spaghetti crap. up against the wall to no, see no, if no. it sticks. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Well, I'm going to need some explanation all on right. that because I've seen you make spaghetti many times and I've never seen it on the wall. Well, I don't show that part because you know, I'm not feeding you the part. That, okay, everybody calm down. So when you're making spaghetti, if you throw it up against the wall and it sticks, then it's probably not done. But if it sticks for only like a, a half a second and falls off, then it's closer to being done because it's not sticky. Do you see what I'm saying? But it depends on the wall. Is it a tile? Is it wallpaper? Is it paint? Is it textured? That would all make a difference. I don't think it would make a difference. Oh, I think a sticky goodness. noodle would stick to any of those things. Wow. Leave a comment down Her below. Her spaghetti comes out Are you team and delicious. Rachel? Leave a comment down below because we need help with this stuff because he'll Google it and he'll he'll find something that explains his side of the story and he'll... I don't he'll, think my side needs explanation. I think common sense would say, let's don't throw our food on the wall. I don't eat the pieces we throw on the wall. Those get thrown away. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it just sounds crazy. I don't know. I've never... <laughs> 
they throw a bunch of crap on the wall and some of it will stick and then you're talking about food doing Never the same mind. thing. And I'm, I'm like, so wow. sorry I even said anything, but do for real. Derailed. For real. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. Are you Team yeah. Rachel or Team Casey on that? Have you ever heard of that? And if you haven't, say you're Team Casey. We'll just walk away. We'll never bring it up again. But I want to know. If you've okay, so just to be clear, if you've ever My thrown your food thing. on the wall for a valid reason of like determining if it's done or something like that, then you're Team Rachel. If you have not ever done that, that's nor exactly have you right. ever even heard of it, and you think that's the most crazy thing you've ever heard in your life, <laughs> then you're Team Casey. Let's see who wins. You know, you know that it's women that watch this channel majority. The, the, I don't want to say all. I know that there's some guys that watch, but the majority I don't think this is a gender is thing. I think most people are going to think that's crazy. But <laughs> oh, I could be wrong. regardless of gender? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So, uh, I want to laugh so hard because he he sees the comments that I'm really sticking it out in. there. I can really be He sees every one. comment that rolls in on this channel. So, if you guys are hitting that comment section with Team Rachel, spaghetti noodles on the wall all day, every day, then he's going to see every single one of them. So, speak up. Speak up if you've done it. Don't leave me, don't leave me hanging and out on out Team Casey. Dry. She's going to have to do some major <laughs> retraction. She's going to be the retractor. I will mention in a future video, I will say I retract my statement. If Team Casey we'll just wins, go, she'll I'll gloss I'll right over that and move on to the next topic. <laughs> but I will be here as the truth detector to bring us back to reality. This is going to be really interesting. We both stuck it out there. One of us is going to be eating crow. <laughs> Tune in for who apologizes. <laughs> I'm not apologizing. Well, I didn't say I'd apologize. I'd just say that, you know, you will. One of us will say we were wrong. I'll say I was wrong, but I'll know secretly that. No, we'll be honest. We'll be honest, but they'll be able to look at the comments and see as well. You're not the only one that can roll your eyes, just so you know. Oh my goodness! We're supposed to have lasagna this evening. That's going to make a mess on the wall. Jeez. So corny. I hope you're proud of yourself. <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourself. Hey. Anyways, plant nerds, thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching with us. Thank you guys for um, commenting. We love to hear from you guys. Thank you for following me on Instagram. That's been really cool too. Um, the, the account's been growing like crazy. It's been really, really nice. We really, really appreciate it. And we will see you guys next time. Catch you on the flip side. Later taters. Bye. Me going. <laughs> you really put on the wall. Mm -hmm. no, you, you just made that up, didn't you? Well, How can I've never seen you put a noodle on the wall. We've been married for three years. Okay. Several reasons why. You're not in the kitchen every five seconds. I have been in the kitchen while Here, you made spaghetti. I think I would have you know, noticed okay, you. Okay, like, I'll tell you exactly. Hey, babe, turn around while I hang this food on the wall. <laughs> Let me tell you exactly why you don't know what I do with spaghetti. Because when you know that I'm cooking spaghetti, you get bent out of shape because you don't like spaghetti. <laughs> that could be true. So you go hide because you're mad because we're having spaghetti I'm for dinner. I'm mad. And that's why you don't know what I do with the noodles. That's why. I have to beg you to try them when I do get to the point where the noodles are done because you're like, <laughs> I don't, I, don't I, don't like, like I don't like noodles. I don't like a plain noodle. I don't like a plain noodle. Why. It's not salted, <laughs> it's overly hot, and it's there's nothing on it but just plain old noodle. Yummy! <laughs> Are you done? Do you understand why you may not know now? I'm in the kitchen all the time when you can. I, you want how much? You're making it sound like I ain't ever in the kitchen. How many, how many times I cook for you in the kitchen? So many times.